Fishing is a popular outdoor activity in North Dakota. You don't need to make a large investment to get started. I'm Mike Anderson with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. My guest this week is outreach biologist Greg Gullickson. Greg, give us some simple tips if you're going to go out fishing for the first time, whether you're on shore or in a boat. What do you need? Well, fishing doesn't have to be complicated. The first thing is everyone that's 16 or older does need to buy that fishing license. The quick and easy way to do that is on the Game and Fish website, gf.nd.gov. Then all you need is a fishing rod. Doesn't matter what kind, some line and a lure. A uh, very popular, most common thing is just a small hook, a split shot, and a bobber with a little piece of worm on it. And that'll catch you quite a few different species of fish in North Dakota on a variety of waters. So, you know, any fishing rod, any type of line works. You know, and one of the first things to do is having a good knot. You know, just running that line through the way that I do it is just take and twist the line around about four or five times and come back through the loop on the bottom. And there, that's a good knot. That one really held up nice. So your basic fishing setup would just be the hook tied to the line, a split shot or some other sort of weight, and then a bobber. Once you have your simple rig uh, tied up, then the next thing is some sort of bait. One of the most, one of the things that's easy to get and works well is just simple night crawlers or earthworms. And so all you do is just make sure that you attach that to the hook. I usually like to run it through the hook a few times and you're ready to go. Let's see if we can catch fish. Okay, and there's roughly around 450 lakes that the Game and Fish Department manages, but we have a lot of obviously shoreline opportunities, but community fishing ponds around the state too in, in some of the larger cities. You know, we have uh, several of those community fishing ponds, you know, across North Dakota that are kind of stocked with some more extra fish. So the angling opportunity there is great and usually the fish are biting. You know, it can't get any simpler than the way we do fishing during the state fair. We have a cane pole, a piece of line, a hook, a split shot, a bobber, and a little piece of worm. And I think that whole investment is about $7. So, you know, to get into fishing, it really doesn't cost hardly anything. So don't get overwhelmed with all of the equipment that you see out there. Okay, and a lot of lakes have fishing piers that get you out past the weeds along the shoreline as well. They do, and those, I mean, those are certainly great, those fishing piers that are out there. It, you know, it allows you to have a, a stable place to be out there fishing, to have your tackle box, your rod, some have rod holders, but it gets you out past the weeds. But don't think just because that there isn't a fishing pier that you can't go and shore fish at any, any of those other lakes because there's some great shore fishing opportunities uh, that exist on, on all of our lakes. You, you don't need that boat to catch a fish. Greg, another simple way to catch fish if you don't want to use your bobber and hook is just a simple jig. Yeah, just a simple jig and you know you can tip it with a minnow, you can tip it with a night crawler, uh, leech, uh, or even uh, some of the plastic baits that are out there as well. Okay, let's, let's put a worm on there and see if we can catch a walleye. Sounds good. And so with the jig that's a little bit different than the bobber, is you're just gonna cast this out, wait for it to settle down on the bottom, and then just kind of jig it and slowly reel back towards shore. So this is a more active method. But yeah, it's a more active method, casting and retrieving. Okay, go ahead, give us a cast. Greg, how do you tell our viewers how you would know that if you have a fish on or not? Well, when you're, when you're jigging, uh, usually when the jig's falling back down, you'll feel kind of kind of like a tap. Like there that. we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, little guy. This is a little guy. Looks like maybe a keeper. You know, I think it is. It's probably probably right around 14 inches. And I'm hungry for a walleye. So one of the things that, that I'm trying to do holding the fish, you know, they have a spiny dorsal fin, so you want to be aware of that. And then the, the gill plate or gill cover is sharp on a walleye as well and on several other fish. What I'm not doing is grabbing it by the eyeballs. I'm not sticking my finger, my hand up inside where the gills are because those are really sensitive. And you know, if, if I wasn't going to keep this fish, I don't have it out of the water any longer than I can hold my breath. It's just. If you're going to release a fish, try to get that picture real quick, get it back in the water. But this one's going in the frying pan. 